Hi yo, what's happening guys? So you know today's story is a little bit crazy, bro. Like talking about like pull out the AK-47 type crazy nigga. Like this is some real shit, some real hood shit, nigga. You feel me, bro? Alright, let's just watch this video real quick and just let's fucking talk about it, y'all feel me? But I right. Mm -hmm. Put my shit, put my shit back oh, on this fucking porch. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw you when you got out the motherfucking car. You, you, you're trying to put my shit back on this motherfucking porch. You done lost your motherfucking mind. You done come up on my shit and took my shit. You got, you lucky. You got, you lucky. You got, motherfucker. You see this motherfucker just tried to take the package off the porch? Yeah. Right in front of me, like the motherfucker went in the house camera. Like, I'm not sitting there watching your stupid ass. Y'all seen that shit, nigga? This nigga was not playing, bro. This nigga literally fucking popped him. Like, this nigga was talking to him like he was his fucking son, bro. Like, bro, this nigga was straight ready for this, bro. Yo, did you see the first second that when this nigga pulled up and shit? That nigga already had the gun fucking clocked. He clocked that shit back. Y'all you, you, hear that shit, right? Mm -hmm. put, my shit, put my shit back on bro, and let's talk about when he got caught, bro. When he got caught, it was way worse. Nah, it's not because that nigga was about to shoot and shit. Because this nigga popped up with an AK-47, nigga. What the fuck? Who the fuck pulls up with an AK-47? Bro. I would expect a fucking Glock or some shit, but nah. This nigga had that heavy artillery, bro. Like, this nigga was straight, but, uh, you know, get a 1.0 KD real quick, y'all feel me? But, yo. Let's talk about this niggas, you know, the fucking robbers. Getaway driver. That nigga was, oh my. That nigga was fake. That nigga was so fake, bro. Bro, let me reroll that clip real quick for you guys. Put my shit, put my shit back oh, on this fucking shit, car. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, I, I saw you when you got out the man, motherfucking car. You, 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 you're trying to put my shit back on this motherfucking porch. What's up? You gonna lost your ass. Y'all seen that shit? That nigga left and fucking beeped at him. He said, yo, bro, this nigga literally laughed and said, yo, y'all be safe. Like, this nigga fake. What the fuck? Bro. Bro, oh my God, man. If, he, if he's going to be a, you know, a getaway driver, bro, like, this ain't good, bro. Like, this nigga left a scene, like, yo, it's not all for one anymore. It's one for all, bro. You feel me? Like, yo, this nigga's not a ride or die, bro. This nigga's not your homeboy, bro. This nigga straight tripping, bro. Like, this nigga only got caught, bro. He... Niggas are fake. I mean, they're just fake, bro. You gotta watch out for this type of shit, you feel me? But nah, bro. Let's discuss the way this nigga ran, though. Y'all seen that nigga? Bro, that nigga was straight stepping, bro. I don't understand. I do not understand. How the fuck did this nigga not trip? How did he not trip? Bro, someone explain that shit, bro. See how I see that shit? That nigga was, like, running full blast. And you know, like when that nigga was, you know, trying to get away and shit. You know what he said? He said, "Don't shoot." You got it. You lucky. You got it. You lucky. You got it. You motherfucker. Oh, oh. Bro. Nigga, if they're gonna shoot at you, bro, they would have long shot at you, bro. Like low key. Cause if they shoot right now, what's gonna happen? It's gonna probably hit a car. Now they have to pay for that shit. You feel me? There's no point shooting now, bro. They would have shot you as soon as you got that package, bro. But nah, bro, nigga, like yo. You straight wildin', bro. Like, why the fuck are you selling packages, nigga? Like, what the? What kind of? I mean, I get it, it's easy and shit, but like, yo, you can, you know, lock out, or probably, or this shit will happen, or like, fucking police will find you, nigga. Like, I don't know, nigga. I don't think it's really worth it. Not even gonna cap. I won't cap right now. It is not worth it, bro. You feel me, bro? Like, I get what he's, you know, trying to do, get some quick money and shit, but, like, yo, this nigga could have probably just ordered fucking pencils and shit, bro, you feel me? Like, it's a high-risk, low-reward type of situation. Because what is the freaking situation? What is the odds that this nigga has ordered a fucking, you know, a fucking Rolex or anything, bro? Like, come on, bro. If that chances of that shit would be very, very, very low, you feel me? So, honestly, I do not think it is worth doing. Maybe if the box is big... But that shit looked like it was like medium size, so like it can't be anything too crazy in it, you feel me? Probably maybe a laptop, but like I hate to hand it to you, nigga, but like I don't know, bro. You're a bad thief, bro. Like, 
How the fuck did you not hear them niggas inside? Bro, I even heard them niggas. What? Them niggas were already prepared for you, bro. They niggas were probably stalking you from the moment you stopped right there on the street. Like, cause this nigga had time to grab his fucking AK and shit. Like, he had time to gather around the whole family. He had time to get the whole family fucking popcorn and pop that bitch and wait for you. This nigga was really trying to put on a show, bro. He had time to fucking record this whole situation, bro. Bro, you tripping, bro? You, bro, oh my god, bro. Do your research first before you decide to get into this type of business, bro. The streets is not for everybody. Y'all feel me? They're not for everybody. But, like, you know, there's one thing that's for everybody, bro. That's these hoes. Y'all feel me? But, like, yo. That's not the you know, topic of this video, bro. But, like, yo, bro. Be careful out there, my nigga. Like, chill. Don't be doing this type of shit. This is fucking stupid, bro. Bro, this nigga really tried robbing an old head, bro. A fucking OG, nigga. You know them niggas don't play, bro. It's not like fucking, you know, this fucking generation and shit, nigga. Like, yo, nigga, you getting your ass beat or you getting fucking popped, bro. Like, the old generation doesn't give a fuck, bro. Like, this nigga, he ain't giving a fuck, bro. You seen the way he was talking to him, right? Back on oh, this fucking shit, old man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I saw you when you got out the motherfucking car. You, 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 you tried to put my no shit problem. back on this motherfucking right. porch. For sure. You done lost your motherfucking mind. You done come up on my shit and took my it. shit. You got it. You lucky. You got it. You lucky. You got it. Motherfucker. Nigga, you're lucky you didn't get shot. Not even going to cap, bro. You're lucky you did not get shot, bro. Like, honestly, I hope, hopefully, hopefully you see this video and shit. I mean, or remember this situation and you be like, yo, you know, this life is not for me, bro. This is not really worth it. You feel me? If you're really trying to get into this type of business, bro, like, I recommend you to go to fucking... Actually, no, I'm not even going to recommend this shit. Like, nigga, I might get in trouble for this type of shit. Not even going to lie. But, yo, bro, yo, y'all niggas be safe, bro. Like, if y'all trying to do this type of shit, bro, like, psst, get some information first. Don't be ignorant, bro. Like, niggas get fucking, you know, go to jail for this type of shit. So, like, you know, y'all niggas stay safe out here. I'll see y'all niggas in the next video. All right. Saturday, I put my love in this bitch, but she didn't care enough. Mm -hmm. Saturday, I put my trust in these niggas, and they try to cross me up. Mm -hmm. Fuck all you bitches, and fuck all you niggas, I'd rather go add it up. <laughs>